Beyond the local races, all eyes are on the Illinois presidential primary. On the Democratic side, the latest Tribune poll gives Hillary Clinton a clear edge over Bernie Sanders. For Republicans, Donald Trump leads a divided field at 32 percent, 10 points behind Texas Senator Ted Cruz and Florida Senator Marco Rubio. They're basically tied. And Ohio Governor John Kasich trails 18 percent, only 7 percent um, undecided. Uh, Steve, Bernie Sanders gave Hillary Clinton quite a scare in Michigan. Is she safe here on her home turf? Um, I think if you ask the Clinton folks, they would say they're not so sure. Um, mm -hmm. The polls certainly show her with a substantial lead right now. Most of the polls show about a 14-point advantage there. But we saw an even bigger lead in Michigan, and I think Bernie Sanders uh, certainly derived a lot of momentum coming out of Michigan. Um, the question, I think, in a lot of these races, and particularly on the Democratic side um, with this presidential race, but it's also to your point earlier, Paula, and really to the Gonzalez-Madigan race, is how much can Bernie Sanders engage and broaden this electorate? Mm -hmm. If, in fact, he can increase the electorate, it's also true in the Senate race, um, then I think he will have an opportunity to surprise on Tuesday. I think right now the momentum uh, is in his favor, but the structural advantage is still really auger toward um, a Clinton victory. I, I agree, and I do think that Sanders got started a little bit too late. I mean, here he, in Illinois. Here in Illinois, mm. and I think across the country, quite frankly. It was approximately two years ago that I first remember him stating that he might decide to run for president. And there seems to be just a long gap. People are just beginning to know him, to learn about him. And sort of this movement that you're seeing among first-time voters, among younger voters, isn't necessarily translating. But um, I think we may see a surprise. And on, on the Republican side, Donald Trump, Nick, appears to be in the driver's seat. Yes, certainly is, does. is anybody going to be able to stop him here in Illinois? Uh, you know, I think there, there might have been a possibility, uh, if you ask me, after March 1st. Um, but I think more and more it's becoming clear that uh, voters are supporting Donald Trump uh, on the Republican side. Um, and they're, they're, bro they're split among the other candidates. Um, and, you know, so somebody might get some other pieces or pieces of delegates. But I think down Donald Trump is the clear front runner. I would just say that after Michigan, though, on the Democratic side, I think it does it does give Illinois another look, um, uh, particularly between Sanders and, and Clinton. Had Clinton won in Michigan overwhelmingly, I think Illinois would not have been a, a key state. I would say that that's a very, very good thing for voters. This is really the first time in a long time that both parties in the presidential race have had contested primaries where Illinois could be consequential in yeah. some way. Illinois hasn't mattered yeah. in, in a long time. Right. But Illinois on the Republican side is also sup supposed to be a moderate uh, Republican side. Why aren't the moderates like Kasich? Uh, why aren't they doing better here? I think that the whole system has just been sort of, for lack of a better phrase, muckety-mucked. I think, you know, sort of the, the, the general consensus of what a Republican is has changed. I mean, and that's due in large part to Trump at the head of the table right now. So for me, I'm going to look to see what these two parties look like after the election. So I think that leaves people on a line where they're swaying a little bit. They actually don't know which way to go regardless of which party they're in. Well, and that's especially true inside the Republican establishment. Um, in fact, the Cook County Republican Party got together this week, um, tried to amass enough support to actually formally endorse Kasich. They came just short of that. There's no a divide, endorsement, but a recommendation. A recommendation. There's a divide between the Kasich and Rubio camps. Uh, my sense is in the latest polling, and what's happening nationally, that Kasich may have more momentum going into Tuesday than Rubio, who's really suffering because of the disappointments last week. Um, but I think you have this, as Nick said, this inability to sort of coalesce around one alternative that actually is creating a really open lane continually for Trump. Just a few seconds left, five seconds from each of you. Who wins on each side in the Illinois primary at the presidential level? Just seconds. Uh, I would say Trump and Clinton on Tuesday. I honestly don't know, but I will say that I hope that the people win, and the only way that the people are going to win is if everybody goes out to vote. Nick? I say Trump and Clinton.